A null value is where no value for a variable has been set or the variable hasn't been initialized yet. It is as if nothing exists for that variable. The lack of a value can be found in both databases as well as in programming languages. Now, different programming languages may represent null slightly differently. For example, in JavaScript, the value undefined serves a similar purpose to a null value in other languages. Other languages will use nil instead of null, and it's the same thing. Now, we can see null being used in three different data types typically. First is with numbers, and numerically, zero shows that there is no value for a number. And we can still recognize that value, or lack of a value in this case, that it was set. With a null numeric value, however, means that the value was never set and therefore it cannot be used. Now, most programming languages will default a numeric value so you don't have to worry about testing against null to see if it's used. And most of them will set that value to zero for you. That way, you're gonna reduce the number of potential runtime errors you might have. The second data type where we see a lot of nulls is with text or string data. While text values can be blank or empty, that still means that the variable was actually set. Because of this, null is considered to be different than a blank value in most programming languages. They're gonna require that you check both for null and or empty or blank to fully check to see if there's data within that string. Now, some languages will allow you to check to see if it's null or empty as a combination method, while others will require you to do it as two separate individual calls. Being able to check for these two individual calls can be beneficial to a programmer because they can check to see if a value has been set, in which case it's blank, or if it hasn't been set yet. And for example, a user failed to enter in a piece of data in a form field. Now finally, you can check for null in an object-oriented programming on objects and cells. Since an object needs to be instantiated in order to be used, checking for null lets you see if the programmer has declared the variable but has failed to actually create the object. Not checking can lead to that dreaded null object exception found very often in both C-sharp and Java code. So that is the basics of what a null value is and how we are using them in programming languages.